So this is my new setup. As you can see, I'm in the same place where I recorded the, the wall course. So after recording that, I decided that this corner was much better than the other side. The other desk is just on the other side. And I really like to have in a corner in here because I can decorate it. I will still, I just move everything out. So everything is the same that was in the other side except for a couple of things because now I have instead of having my my computer on the side with the screen so I can have a couple of screens now I have it on here and I think I like it for the best because I wasn't using it and having it down here it was extremely hot for it because it's an old computer and I think it's better uh, as a vertical layout and also it looks really nice because I have a, a ton of stickers from other illustrators. And also another thing is this light here. <laughs> it's I used an old lamp and I take the the thing on the top and I have a an a bulb, a color bulb from Xiaoyumi, I think it is. And I think it looks really nice. I really like how the, the kind of ambient it creates and also it's nice because I can have some light on the back of the, the screen which is nice for the eyes and yeah what else well the thing in here is that I have a couple of keyboards on the I think it was on the second uh, block that I did I I received an Apple keyboard which I returned a couple uh, weeks later because the next week after having an Apple keyboard I wasn't sure about it and I decided to buy this keychron here and just try both of them and and yeah this one was way way better and the only thing that I didn't like about this one is by the way it's a keychron key too uh, as you can see it's a Spanish layout so it's an ISO layout and I really like these keyboards because they can be, they are extremely customizable and the thing that having an ISO layout, especially in Spanish, is that it's not as customizable because there's only like 12 kind of different kick-up sets and that was a bit upsetting <laughs> because I really like to have the, the opportunity to change everything and not just the switches. It came with the UK layout because at the shop that I bought it, it was the only one available. But I also bought these Spanish keycaps, so I changed everything. I gave it to my partner because he wanted a mechanical keyboard too. I decided that I wanted an NC layout even if it was harder to uh, press some of the keys like the Enya and the Setrincada and some of the accents but I searched how to do it and it wasn't actually that complicated it's just different than uh, what I was used to so I decided to, after looking a ton of keywords, I bought the same one <laughs> but it's actually the Pro version, the K2 Pro version and as you can see, it's ANSI layout. And for this one, I bought these honey and milk keycaps in Japanese because they are my favorite ones and I really wanted to have them. And I think it looks amazing. I've got a ton of questions about these keycaps on my Instagram stories. So I thought it would be nice to include here a little video I recorded when I was putting them. And I will leave all the links to these keycaps and the keyboards I've shown down in the description. The sound, I didn't thought that I will, it will change that much, but it's so spectacular. This one has a silicone pad and a foam pad also, so I didn't have to do anything. 
uh, for the alphas. I bought um, Gateron yellow, the, the mil milky yellows with the bottom black bottom and I love how they sound. They are they are so soft and not, not quite but they are pretty quiet. The only downside of these ones is that the spring is a little bit harder, harder to bottom out and I wasn't used to it so I thought I will have to change the switches but after a week I get used to it and now I they are perfect. I'm thinking on putting all Catherine yellows on all the, the keyboards so maybe I will do that one day. Yeah, that's pretty much all the changes. I don't know if you want me to to show you more of the keyboards. I'm, I'm quite obsessed right now <laughs> with them. I will show you around here so you can see how everything looks. Let me know if you see an, an IKEA Scadis on, on this wall. Because I'm thinking, I know everyone has one right now, uh, but I'm thinking that I can get a lot of use from it because I can hang out my keyboard on the side while I'm writing or having my my markers and everything here and I think it will cover a nice space because now I have these prints that I will put on the other side. So the other thing I was thinking of is instead of the scadis to put a couple of shelves so I can use them also for recording so I can put the, the camera up here and uh, I'm not sure what do, what do you think would be more useful yeah let me know down in the comments Thank you.